Na moral, velho, o jogo crashou, velho. Do nada. Ficou uma tela verde pra mim aqui. Doideira ou não? Pô, vamos continuar. Só falta esse jogo crachar, velho, de novo. Eu vou ficar triste, mano. Pô, se crachar de novo, eu vou ficar muito bolado, velho. Tipo, pá, fez uma tela verde, mano. Two sisters were destined to die. Julia, the first sister, and Martha, the second. On Julia's day of departing, identical twins stood before me, impossible to tell apart. They questioned my presence, since they were still so young. Julia must come with me, I demanded. But they both claimed to be Martha. I explained that Martha's fate was soon to be the same, and their games were useless. I didn't have time for it. The war was keeping me busy. But they didn't concede, and instead kept insisting. Can we follow you together? No, impossible. Are you sure Martha will die too? Nothing is certain in wartime. What if the wrong person went with you? Then you would have cheated death. One would die unjustly, and the other would simply be delaying her fate. They discussed amongst themselves, then hugged before one of them came forward. She stared in a determined, almost threatening manner. I guessed it was Martha sacrificing herself giving more time to her sister. But I stayed silent, not to reveal their failed deception. No one lies to the face of their own death. So I asked how their choice was reached. We do lots by throwing a medallion, she said quietly. They had trusted in fate. Oh, how naive they were. They knew fate plays by its own rules, which is true, but it is also my ally. Fate never would have allowed the wrong girl to follow me. In that case, my work was done. She must have been Julia. However, little to my knowledge at the time, That blasted medallion had the same name engraved on both sides. Martha's. So, my first assumption was correct. They were too damned smart, and had fooled both fate and me. One thing is for sure. I'll put things back where they belong. I will correct my ignorance and give fate back its blindfold. Tá, é a morte por conta a respeito delas. Isso, beleza. Mas e aí, ela morreu mesmo? Damn, this hurts so bad. I can hardly breathe. Pô, foi só colocar a roupa da Julia que ela tomou um tiro, velho. Um tiro. Minhas coisas, subtil atualizado. Novo capítulo inteiro. Looks like mother has been here all night with me, or rather with Martha. She even left her medication behind. She can't live without that now. Pô, vamos trocar aí, né, velho? Vamos colocar a roupa da Marta, porque o clube da roupa da Julia deu ruim. Ó, se é o enterro, eu vou colocar a roupa de luto, né, mano?
I would like to spend a moment with my sister, just me and her alone, before people arrive for the funeral and then take her away. No, 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 my bag is not here. My diary. Lapo's letter. Nossa, fudeu hein? Se a mãe dela viu, lascou. How is she? How is my daughter? Please, doctor. Please give me good news. It's a miracle she's alive, Eric. But she will be all right. The bullet passed right by her heart and exited her chest. Unbelievably, it missed her lungs, spine, and heart. She could have been paralyzed or died. But thankfully, she's fine. I examined her thoroughly. She didn't even lose that much blood. She was lucky. And you were lucky, so to speak. She was lucky that my wife went for a walk in the woods. Otherwise... Otherwise, she would have bled to death, yes. I don't know what to say. All of this, it's too much. So much death and suffering, nothing more. Don't worry, Erik. She's young, so she'll recover quickly. I'll be here all day anyway. Thank you, Doctor, for everything. Do you mind coming with me to pick my wife up from the cemetery? The funeral will start soon in the chapel. Of course not. Lead the way. You know, with all of these preparations for the funeral, Irina wants everything to be perfect. It's her way of coping, so she doesn't have to think about everything going on. She is a woman who has suffered so much. Pô, não consigo abrir. Maybe too much. Agora dá. There's my bag. Thank God. Pô, já confere os bagulho aí, né, filha? Aqui, ó, a carta. Dear Julia, are you surprised that I've addressed this to you and don't think you're dead? Everyone calls you Martha now, right? I know you too well. I can never understand why no one else can ever tell you apart. Not even your own mother and father. Martha is gone and I cannot reconcile myself to that fact. I have to stay hidden, and sadly, I can't run to you, even if I would love nothing more than to hold you tight and cry together. No words. I just want to be close to you. Can we meet in the barn tonight? I will try my best to be there around midnight. Don't be alarmed, but if things get ugly, please remember this number, 6934. He knew he was in serious danger, but what about the letter? I had it in my hand when the soldiers ran off. Mummy found me, and if she's read it, well, she hates Lapo, and now she must know who I am. No, no, she probably would have left me there to die. She'd rather have no daughter than the wrong one. Before I passed out, I must have put it back in my bag. There is no other explanation. Realmente esquisito, hein? As coisas não tiarem. July 19th. I retrieved the cameras at the lake, but I had convinced myself that I was the one who had hurt Martha. So much so that when I had the rolls with me on the way home, I found myself in another horrible dream. I don't even remember going to sleep. As soon as I woke up, I developed the film. The photos confirmed to me that my memory of that night was correct. It was a great relief. I have decided to go back to the lake in an attempt to communicate with the white lady. I know it's a crazy thought, but I can't get it out of my head. I need to know what happened to Martha, so I must pursue every possible avenue, even the path of insanity. Porra, é isso, hein? Que isso? Ah, tem mais coisa, né? Vamos barrar três agora. Dois, três. Vou abrir o primeiro já. O Ei hiero, hiero, Hierofante, é isso? Porra. 
esse o hierofante o sol imperador there is darkness that brings uncertainty but there will be a guide something that can teach me something beleza When it's not too sunny outside, the 200 ISO film works well. Os caras noticiaram então que foi tipo assim, alguém General contra Edith eles, K. né? New rules on... Essa que eu já vi. Tem mais coisa pra ver aqui não? Não. Tá, o que a gente tem que fazer agora? Tá, tem que lembrar esse número. Seria o número do telefone, uma combinação. Não sei. Tem que despedir da irmã dela. Tem que ir lá pro lago. Encontrar a chave. Ler o jornal. Ai, você tá trancado, velho. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia Kay, today her twin sister is the victim of another attempted murder. The condition of the young girl found by the German troops is no cause for concern. The political motive behind this is becoming all the more clear. But that's not what happened. It's all wrong. Mummy was the one who found me. German soldiers shot me. Best to stay quiet. No one ever believes the truth. New ordinance ban on the use of bicycles. Ah. Over the last few days, cyclists have once again shot at members of the Italian armed forces and at civilians in the streets. The offenders will be punished in accordance with German martial law. Even in Florence, the war is beginning to be felt. Supplies are starting to run out. Bread may only last a few more days. Prices are rising dramatically. Meat can now be found for 100 to 140 lira per kilo. The gas has been cut and there is no coal. Nos. Attempted murder in La Romola. After the murder of Julia K. The Battle of Tuscany. German operations in the Livorno area. Extremely violent fighting in the streets of the city. É isso. Bom, aqui eu já li. É, tem que encontrar a chave de filha da irmã dela. Eu tenho que descobrir eu agora... Eu deveria pegar o telefone, mas permanecer em silêncio. Se eu deixar o caller falar primeiro, eu vou descobrir quem é. It's the nanny. I can confide in her. Nanny? Hello, it's me. What? Hello? Oh my lord. I must be dreaming or something. No, nanny, you're not dreaming. It's really me, it's Julia. Oh my god. Julia, my little sparrow. How wonderful. Sorry, but I thought you were dead. I I saw you lying there dead. This brings me so much joy that... Actually, you must explain to me, my little sparrow, what is happening? 
I told Loving. Nanny everything that had happened. She was sad for Martha, of course, but very happy at the same time. I was the one she had a special bond with. I explained to her that I wanted to try and meet the White Lady, even if I knew it was a silly idea. But she didn't think I was a fool, quite the opposite. She explained to me what I should do in an attempt to meet her. It was complicated. I noted everything down carefully in my diary. Who knows, maybe she did it only to keep me occupied, while deciding what to do with me and who to warn. I won't ever know, though, because that very same day, a bomb struck the villa and she died. They all died. We should have been in that house ourselves, but instead... Poor Nanny. Bye, Nanny. I love you. Goodbye, my darling. I thought I'd lost you. Be careful, my little sparrow. Pô, então vamos tentar ligar o número que ele falou, mano. Meia nove três quatro. Meia nove três quatro. Yes, Lapo is dead. I am due. No, no, don't talk. We don't need to know who you are. By calling this number, it means Lapo wanted you to complete his work. A telephone cable near the house of German General Erich K has to be cut. One goes to the house, but there's another cable we suspect is connected to a secret base. That is the one that has to be cut. If you see any German vehicles around, let us know immediately. We won't use this number anymore. It's dangerous. Use a telegraph. That will be safer. I hope you know how to use them. Otherwise, you'll have to come up with something. This is important. Frequency X. Before the message, telegraph town on fire to identify yourself. Long live the homeland. Long live the liberation. Should I sabotage the cable and become a spy? I don't know. My father is German. It would be like betraying him even though he himself hates this war. But what happened to Lapo and those guys? If I can save someone's life, maybe I should try. Or maybe I can talk to Daddy about it. He may be able to advise me on what to do. I don't even know the first thing about all this. What were you thinking, Lapo? Mano, mas se ela revelar o plano pro pai, ela vai ter que falar que ela é a Julia. Certo? Aí, tipo, ia foder tudo. Ela pode manter, tipo, as aparências. Porque, mano, vai foder demais. E o pai dela, a gente não vai acreditar nela. Tipo, porra, eu acho que não, mano. Aos os guerrilheiros, mano. Pô, porque, ó, o pai dela, mano. Por mais que o pai dela, ele tá... Ele é do exército alemão. A gente sabe que o exército alemão é o exército nazista. No exército nazista, a gente sabe que a gente sempre tem que ser contra. Cara, vou ajudar os guerrilheiros, velho. To cut the cable, I will need sharp scissors. Taylor scissors should be fine. A tesoura já tem. Então vamos lá. Tá, mas por que que eu vou ligar pro, pra galera, mano? Achar o poste, cortar o fio... Tá, vamos dar tchau pra irmã primeiro. Ah, tem que ler o diário pra ele. Now I know what must be done to meet the lady. Nanny has explained everything to me. I must try to meet her early in the morning when it is foggy, or all will have been in vain. That's what the legend says. This is what I need to do. One, I must reinvoke her loss by putting her into contact with her lover. To do this, Nanny said to look for his grave in the woods. But there are so many. Daddy always said that infrared photos can see what the naked eye cannot. 
Maybe then they also see ghosts. There wouldn't be anything strange about that now, considering I'm trying to contact one after all. How crazy. Two, a part of me needs to enter her world. A lock of hair would work, so I'll need scissors to cut some off. Three, I will need an object that connects her world to mine. I don't know what to do for this yet. Hopefully something will come to mind when I least expect it. Four, to communicate with her, I will need to use my tarot cards. I will meet with the lady on the island where her lover was executed. Caraca, ela vai fazer o oi já mesmo, velho. Tá, então vamos um de cada vez aqui, mano. Meu quarto é feliz. Caralho, mano, só não faço a menor ideia de onde tá esse bagulho, velho. Menor ideia. Mano, eu, ah, eu vou fazer as ligação, mano. Pô. Ó, peraí. 6987. 6987. Acha como a mãe. Hello, Miria. It's Irene K. What is this? Some sort of bad joke? I know Irene very well, and you are definitely not Irene. Puta fudeu. Pô, vamos tentar de novo. Mia. Nove. Oito. I've already called this number. What use would there be calling again? Porra, mano, tenta falar de outra coisa, né, véi? 6922, vai. 69 22 What am I going to ask at the town hall? Porra, mano, sei lá. Liga pospício agora, 0782. Não! Errei. Cancela. Ó, de novo, hein? De novo. Zero. Sete. Oito. Dois. Why would I call the asylum? Mommy was there a few years ago now and I wouldn't know what to ask. To be honest, I don't understand why the number is still here. <risos> tá, eu dou um atilho agora. Meia nove três oito. Meia, nove, três, oito. I have nothing to say to Don Atilio at the moment. Before speaking with him, I have to get a few. Ah, então vai se foder, mano. Pô, ligar pro doutor agora, então. Só falta ele mesmo. Minha cinco nove três meia cinco nove três. Not now. Ah, vai tomar no cu. Vamos lá, despedir da irmã dela.
Já li o jornal, né? Já. Dante's Inferno illustrated by Dore. Always hanging cheery things. These masks, I remember them vividly. I always tried to escape their gaze. War, always war, even in paintings. Old photographs that father took of this house. Cadê a irmã? Martha was taken to the chapel for her funeral. I want to say goodbye to her alone before everyone arrives. Pô, vamos lá então. Só não sei onde é a capela, mano. Acho que é lá fora então, hein? Ou não? Nada fazer aqui, velho. Caraca, eu dei a puta de uma volta pra nada, velho. Ah, é ali, ó. Vou pegar a bike para ali. I can't ride here. Better walk on foot. Cavalgar. Nossa, olha o curvo, cuzão. Matou o passar. Poor little one. He's dead. Poor little guy. His place is by Martha's side. More Nanny open. always calls me Little Sparrow. This is the part of me that died with Martha. It'll be safe next to her. Here, Martha. This is my heart. Carry it with you. I'm starting to understand how painful your condition must have been. Not being able to properly communicate with anyone is becoming increasingly difficult. I envied you, but I did not see your suffering. I did not understand your courage. I miss you so much, Martha. I'm not worthy to dress in your clothes. Fording, mate. Holy water. It's only water, and yet there's something special about it. There's only a few signatures from my funeral. If people had known that it was actually Martha, there would have been far more. I'm sorry that I took this from you too. That raven is making a big fuss. O curvo. 
Maybe it's the same raven that killed that poor sparrow. Com certeza é. Commune of San Casciano, province of Florence. Death certificate. From the Register of Death Certificates of this commune, number 174, part 3. Series 12 of the year 1944. It is certified that on the day of the 16th of July of the year 1944, Julia Kay has died, resident of Via Perciabaya, born in La Romola. On the 26th of February 1923, the daughter of General Erich Kay and Irene Kay, Don Attilio D will give the funeral and the esteemed Mr. Alberto M, who will look after the burial in the cemetery of La Romola. Telephone number 6537. The official state civil service. General Galeazzo T. Então acho que agora a gente tem um objetivo para usar o telefone lá, né? Eu acho. I hate bullying. Yet it seemed as if the raven wanted to bring the little bird back to life. Oh, Kuruhuki. Subiu o bagulho, beleza. Cara, cadê o corvo? Ah, tá aqui. Dress. It's made from the same fabric I found a shred of next to the lake. In fact, it is torn. It must be my mother's. My goodness. I started to suspect that Mummy could have been involved in Martha's murder. Lost in these thoughts, hours passed, and I completely forgot about the funeral. When I realized it was evening, they were already carrying the coffin towards the cemetery. She never loved me, I knew that well. But I would never have believed that. Had it been her, I struggled to believe it, but it made so much sense. At the lake, she must have thought Martha was me because she was convinced that I was dead. Caraca, será que a mãe dela tentou matar ela, mano? Tipo, sei lá, por conta dela, dela achar que ela tava grávida, algum bagulho assim, mano. Se for, ó, mãe do ano. When the funeral ended, I felt an irresistible urge to play. I loved music. I started playing without thinking about the possible consequences. I didn't care anymore. I needed to feel alive, to exist again. going on here? Julia? Is that you? No, it's not possible. Martha's never played. She's deaf, yet... No. This is madness. My God. So, Martha? I understand now. You can get all of the attention, right? You were jealous, weren't you? Because she was a wonderful girl and, and you're just a useless little slut. How did you manage to convince her? I get it now. But she... she talked to me. I... I... no. It doesn't make sense. I will have you locked up in an asylum. You hear? That's enough! You will pay for what you've done, you cursed lunatic! They will torture you to reveal the monsters in your head. Caralho, mãe do ano, velho. 
Her words were as sharp as blades. I tried to tell her that it wasn't me. I showed her the photos I developed that proved my innocence. But she grew all the more angry, calling me crazy, and then... She began to hit me with everything she had at hand. I closed my eyes as more darkness began to take over in me. Memories came flooding back, not memories of actual past events but more so of feelings, feelings I had when I was little. They were scary, they were the fears of a little girl. Despite what had happened, I went walking in the woods early the next morning to meet the lady. The evening before, my father had tried desperately to console me. Talk to me, Julia. You know I love you. I just want to understand what happened. But I have you alone, Tom. You are alive. Even if we have lost Martha, your mother was just in shock. She didn't want to hurt you. Caralho, mano. Então ela revelou que era ela. Tá, vamos... Não, vamos cortar o cabo de, de coisa ali primeiro, mano. Tá, tem mais um bagulho, hein. Vamos baralhar aqui, ó. Um, dois, três. O carro. da fortuna I'm going to make it. It will all change eventually. But luck will not be my ally and everything will be very difficult. Povo, lá o cabo rapidão. I don't think this is the right pole. Que que ela falou? Ah, não é o poste certo. Ah, então é o outro lá. Poste aqui também. Ah. Esse aqui. Como que eu subo nele? Pô, não dá pra subir nele não, mano? Aquele ali também. Acho que deve ser esse aqui, ó. Ah, esse mesmo. Já tá 
A pressão no R2 e no L2 já tá até diferente. No outro tava tipo sim, sem pressão. Aue. E agora? A German tank. I have to report its location via the telegraph hidden near the cowshed. Daddy probably asked for a garrison after all that has happened. I should report its location via telegraph. This wire heads towards the house and then keeps going, so it must be the right one. Now all that remains is to go to the telegraph near the barns. Eu não sei onde é o estábulo, velho. Tá, nossa, é lá na puta que eu pariu, velho. Cabo curica, só as telegrafos, é o velho. Aí show. Tá bom. Eu vou lá porque aí já mata esse objetivo aqui do, do telégrafo, do telégrafo, cabo de comunicação, que é o número 6934. É esse caminho, né? É, nossa, vai ter que andar, hein, viado. Puta que eu pariu. Esquerdolas agora. É por aqui. Ah, aqui para tirar uma foto. Eu não sei o que eu estou procurando, mas o que mais posso fazer? Eu vou esperar ver se um desses graves está escondendo algo. Eu espero que o infrared filme me mostre. Entendi. Pera aí, eu vim aqui sem querer e vou, já, já tô aqui, vou, vou fazer o objetivo, mano. É o infravermelho e o flash, né? Tá. Opa. Aí, tá focado, só disparar. Beleza, agora eu vou ter que provavelmente revelar essa foto, mano. Tá, o telégrafo ele fica onde mesmo? Ele falou? Porra, sei lá, velho. Tá, tem três objetivos, mano. Na casa... Eu tenho que fazer, ligar os bagulho lá. Ver a foto, ver se tem algo em comum. Nossa, aqui é só coisa, coisa que já foi. Projeto Connect, o mundo dela é o meu. Porra, eu já não sei, mano. Mano, não faço ideia, não chega esse telégrafo, velho. Na moral. Mas, ó, mano, já é 3h40, eu vou lá comer o bagulho, vou assistir o jogo do Corinthians. E depois, ou eu vou vir aqui felizão, ou eu vou vir bolado e tipo, vou tacar os araios nessa merda. Beleza, ó, beijo pra todos aí, tamo junto.